What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, YouTube? It's your boy, SK, and thank God it's Friday! Today we're going to make an amazing balloon, and you are going to become an amazing balloon twister. By the way, shout out to Eric Thomas, the hip-hop preacher, E.T. That dude gets me fired up. Love that guy. You guys got to check him out. With that being said, no more blah blah. Too much blah blah. That's what my girlfriend likes to say. Let's start the balloon. Okay, so I'm out of green, so we're going with a blue Yoshi. Alright guys, I'm going to speak on this real quick. Double mouth inflation. Fast. Efficient. Professional. Impressive. Best learn how to do it. That's all I'm saying. I'm definitely, without me blowing smoke up my own rear end, one of the fastest twisters that you will ever meet. And the reason why is because of the double mouth inflation. It really saves those few seconds, those precious, precious seconds. And especially if it's a two to three balloon design or four or five balloon design, then boy, I'm gonna I'm gonna blow right by you. You not you're not gonna keep up with me. Alright, so guys, check this out. You blow up both balloons and you immediately tie them. Bam. Now give these balloons a stretch because for this Yoshi, you can get away with making it not precise and perfect but this is my third take doing this YouTube video so now I'm really gonna painstakingly making it to a perfection so let's make the eyes on the smaller side okay I'd say a two finger two and a half finger bubble and repeat and then when you come down don't forget you take that those knots and you run them through and over Go right over the top and back down. It'll really lock it in. Now, we're going to make loops. We're going to make two white loops and two blue loops. The white loops will be smaller than the blue loops because the white loops are Yoshi's cheeks. So continue to squeeze and soften, okay? Make small loops. And do it again, but make bigger loops, but not too big. Just a little bigger, not too, too big. And now we're going to run all this extra balloon through. So everything's locked in place, and it's steady. And then, obviously, you got to do a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Get it to where you need it to be. Best bet would be to make the top loop bigger than the bottom loop. Okay, guys, quick 30 second break on the design. I cannot emphasize this enough. If you're learning how to make a balloon, sit back, relax, and watch me make it. And then pick up the balloons and try to keep up with me, okay? There's no point in fast forwarding. I'm not just showing you how to make it. I'm giving you teeny tiny little details to really help you perfect this design without having to make it 50 times the way I've had to make it 50 times. So sit back, listen, enjoy the video, and stop fast forwarding. Okay, so here's the deal. You can you put a pinch twist there or you cannot put a pinch twist there. You can do your thing. I like to say to put a pinch twist there. So, the pinch twist though, it's tough making a pinch twist that's so close. So you gotta take the bubble and then just twist it. And really twist it good because the last video I made, the pinch twist broke and the balloon did not go so well. But as you would know, at a gig, you gotta do what you gotta do. You just keep going. Okay, so at this very moment, going to be a small Yoshi, not a big one. We're going to go with right there. We're going to stop right there. Maybe, yeah, right there is good. Make a loop. Break off this. Grab this piece. 
Oh my goodness. Well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> okay, so just grab a balloon. You don't even have to tie it. Just run it through the head and bring it down. And here we are again. See, something you should remember. Make it nice, don't make it twice. So you want to go fast, but not too fast. Okay, so this is what we have. We might have to give his head a little bit of manangling and mangling and stuff like that. And now here is the real killer part. Out of one balloon, we're going to try to get the mohawk, the shell, and the tongue. If we're good, we'll nail it. If not, All right, so I would say blow it up about 70% and put this right through his mouth. Loop it in. So this is what you got. Now, check this out. This is what we're doing. We're going through the top of his eyes. So you're going to get skinny. And now we're going to make three bubbles for his mohawk, okay? All right, and now you're going to run the big balloon through his mouth again. So that pinch twist being there, I would say you put the mohawk over that pinch twist and then this balloon under it for the shell. And you're going to go down, up, and down. So normally you find your spot and then you run it through. And then come back down. And just that alone already looks really good. Now, this piece. Hold it for a second and make sure this piece is locked in. And then this piece, just the tip. Now, I really think it looks better when Yoshi has a longer tongue, but, you know, whatever. As long as his tongue's sticking out, that's, that's what's cool. Okay, so there it is. That already looks very, very cool. And that's why you don't want to make the body too long, because if you made the body too long, then you wouldn't have the scrap, because then the balloon, you would be, you'd be out of balloon. You'd have to get another balloon to make his tongue. Okay, so let's make the legs and the arms out of one balloon. Find his leg, push it through that loop. And I'm a time saver person, so I like to put his legs together. With a pinch twist. And now you have your arms right here. And luckily you don't need to give Yoshi um, like little pinch twist hands. You don't. I'm going to just for the video, but I normally never do. So, again, I normally never put these pinch twists. It's a waste of time. It's not necessary. But let's find the middle. You can let it go for now. And we're just going to push that through the white bubble in the front. And there you have it. There is the most awesome Yoshi that you will ever learn that's also fast and efficient. There's a lot of great Yoshis on YouTube. I'm not taking anything away from those other Yoshis. But I can promise you that this Yoshi is not only the most detailed, but it's also the fastest. It's super quick to make if you do exactly as I tell you. Now, I obviously added the shoes, and this little white line, okay, I normally never put this part, but if you have the time, you can just do an uninflated puff, tie that off, and that little puff of air will be good enough to give it that extra line 
which makes it look that much better. So guys, listen, I hope you enjoy this. Please thumbs up, show some love, and let me know what you think. Thank you.